knows your tires, you buddy. Video, Brand I new can't. ones. You could have at least put the front ones on the back. Those are old ones. Moving right day and night. <laughs> <laughs> and we're supposed to be powered by science. That's very true. You better be able to get two people on one chair somehow. Here it comes. Yep, that's it. Because every time I'm in his office, he's sitting there and all of a sudden he just reaches like this and there's a piece of chicken in his hand. <laughs> I'm like, how much chicken is under your desk? I overshot the R&D budget this week, so I'm going to need that 250. Moving it right day and night. <laughs>
Yes. That's a little different than what you drive now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and did you play any sports growing up? No, I was more um, individual dance. Not dance? Not team sports. Yeah. Well, that's cool. What kind of dance was it? Ballet. Ballet? <laughs> yeah. All right. That's funny. Our next Not question is, can you demonstrate some ballet for everybody? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> So, uh, what is your favorite hobby when it's not doing incredible graphic design for the company? Reading, writing, and outdoor nature stuff. Cool. That's what I love. Cool. And uh, what's your favorite holiday? Well, I really like Christmas. I don't always like the stress, but I do like the Christmas holiday. We're getting close. Yes, we are getting very so close. The stress comes before. Yeah, true. And but then, then, then it's the fun, <laughs> and then it's the poof, yes. and then it's like, eh, it's winter, and there's nothing to look forward to. <laughs> so, and I, we were just talking about it. Our Christmas party is actually early this year. It's it like is. December 4th, I think. I think so, something so like So it's that. coming up. Yes. We have epic Christmas parties here. Uh-oh, yes, we do. <laughs> so what is your favorite beverage? Coffee and water. <laughs> I know, I'm so, boring. <laughs> so... Your, your, your desk is over there near Levi's, mm -hmm. so your corner of the marketing department consumes a lot of coffee. A lot of coffee, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have your own machine back there? You just need your own machine. That's, that's a good idea. <laughs> I, think we, I think it would save a lot of time. Yes. Uh, number 10. Uh -oh. And I lied to you earlier. There's always bonus questions. Uh-oh. Number 10, what is your favorite TV show or movie? Okay, well, I'm not a movie or TV show watcher on a regular basis. So in thinking back over the years, something that stands out, beer for my horses. Nice. <laughs> well, I'm going to throw yeah. a, turn, a curve to that thing. You said you're a reader. Yeah. What's your favorite book? My favorite book I love to read, um, John Kreshmer. Mm -hmm. He's a sailor, and he writes a lot of sailing books. So I like the current one is um, A Serious Ocean. I cool. think I got the name right. Probably didn't. Sailing cool. a serious ocean, that's it. Yeah. All right, so I got a bonus question. Okay. What is your, of all the graphic design you do for us, which you do everything from, like, you know, labels to print ads to, you know, crazy stuff I ask you to do that no one knows about and we try to keep on schedule. And what, what kind of design do you most look for? Do you have fun doing? I love doing layout for um, magazines, either digital or print. But I like to do the layout and, yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and Aaron always has a bonus question. Uh -oh. hmm. No, no, he doesn't. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> yeah. Oh, he does. <laughs> so I'm going to tone it down a notch, but where is the favorite place that you've lived? Huh. Oh, Luna, New Mexico, Catron County. Wow. Oh. Yeah. So you Mountains. were born in Dublin. Mm -hmm. No, well, yeah, in Ohio. I uh, moved away. In Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And you went all the way to New Mexico. I did. And you're back here. Yes. Wow. Long story, but yes, I'm, I'm here. I'm sure there is. Let's get a beer and talk about it sometime. Let's do it. <laughs> all right. It's going to take more than one. Beers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're off the hook. Was it that hard? No, and thank you. For well, thanks, Karen. <laughs> we love Karen here. Karen does awesome work for us. Anybody who sees all of the... The graphics we put out, uh, and Jen too. Jen's been with us a long time, and we got two great graphic designers that do all of our work, and we really appreciate what they do. And she did a good job hiding, and uh, it's all <laughs> over now. So, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's uh, let's check the comments, see who's in here today. Dan Zelton says it's D-Wag season. It is definitely D-Wag season, and I've been on the road a couple weeks in some warmer. Well, warmer climates came back here and it was not warm. Not at all. Uh, Terry Howard with his top fan batch says, Happy Hot Shot Secret Thursday, guys, like he always does. And then he knocked out the, the free prize. Let's remember to send Terry, uh, Terry a T-shirt. So, Terry, uh, shoot uh, Levi your, your, your shipping address and, uh, and your shirt size. We'll get you out a T-shirt. Brian checked in and I wasn't first. No, you weren't, Brian, just like you're racing. Jeez, <laughs> oh, Pete. He's, he's gonna drop us. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. He loves us, and I love those guys. Hopefully, I'm gonna get to see them here soon. So, I'll flog myself later for this indiscretion. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> Easy, Brian. It's all right. Uh, USMC Racing, he's got them both in here. See, this is what I do with his show. I try to like get on every one of my devices to get his like viewer count up. Oh. So I appreciate it, Brian. Uh, he's watching from the USMC Racing World Headquarters Garage. Ryan Riddle says, my John Deere Gator and 260 motor loves the Stiction Eliminator. I sure do. And we know he's got his race, our race stuff in his race truck. And Kyle talks to his Gator all the time. Okay. <laughs> we let that one ride. <laughs> You're just like, it's they true. sure do. Like, it's, uh, <laughs> lawnmowers love told me personally. Stiction and FR3. <laughs> they, they do. They, they talk to me all the time and tell me about right. it. Um, USMC Racing is, is happy about MSR Houston. I think that's coming up November 12th through the 14th. I am working on that, Brian. I got a surprise for you later. Uh, Toot says, hey, with up. I'm guessing you're saying, hey, what's up? And so what's up, Toot? Bob Mason, how's it going today? First time watching. Well, welcome, what Bob. We love first timers. Um, I'll tell you how this works. You watch, <laughs> you learn, you ask questions. We respond, and we have a good time, and we all uh, learn something. So Casey Keen says, way to go, Karen. That's right. Tom Hendrickson's in. David Payton's in. What's up, guys? JC Counts says, it's in my 6.7 Cummins and it's current service. Just loaded up customer 6.0 with it. Well, we know uh, those 6.0s love it. Um, almost so much that people don't understand for anything else. But as uh, JC says, he's got it in the 6.7 as well. So we'll talk about all that. Let's do some uh, dealer shout outs. Ooh, how about Jags Pro Truck Shop in Zimmerman, Minnesota? Jags. Wait a minute, Minnesota. Minnesota. We should probably get Ricky to come in and do that part. Do that one. You're right. Sorry. So and, shout out to Jags Pro <clears throat> Truck Shop. And After Hours Diesel in Tompkinsville, Kentucky. Yep, I know them guys, After Hours Diesel. We know everybody. And uh, remind us those guys, After Hours Ooh. Diesel and, and the rest, give us your decal. We'll put it up on our wall. Uh, we do a lot of videoing in here. So get your uh, logo up there and give you some love in the background of a lot of stuff we do. Let people know that you're partners with us, we're partners with you. And let's see, TV airings. We got quite a bit, it looks like, this weekend. You want to run that down? No, because I can never say Stacy David's gears. You just did it. I know, perfectly. but it took us three times each you used to your mess hand it up. Too. Is that why I did it? <laughs> yes. Maybe that talk to the hand, I guess. So try, try to do it without your head. <laughs> Not possible. <laughs> Stacy David's gears. Yeah, it took a lot of effort. It's, it is, it's tough. <laughs> but we'll be on Stacey yeah. Davis Gears this Saturday for your early risers at 6.30 a.m. Um, it's on the Motor Trend Network, and they're going to be covering EDT. Uh, there you go. I think you've got it up. Looks like you've got Mav TV. we got Motor Trend here. Maybe mm. it's one or the other. We'll double check on that. What's that? Oh, I got you. All Girls Garage, also on Saturday at 11.30. Going to be covering Gasoline Extreme. Ooh, really? I think it's the first time nice. for Gasoline Extreme getting some network coverage. So wow. we'll have the girls over there covering that, which is I really cool. I should have been on that episode. Because of the Gasoline Extreme or because of the girls? Because of the Gasoline Extreme. Okay. Duh. Duh. All right. All right. And then Sunday. Ooh, Truck U at 9 a.m. No, you forgot we got another All Girls Garage. Where? On Sunday at yeah. 1130? Yeah. You guess what they're doing? It's a repeat of the Saturday show. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you miss it on Saturday morning. Sunday morning you can catch it or as well. Or even if you don't, maybe you want to watch it twice because maybe. Gasoline Extreme is that good. It is. It really is a good product. So, But then on Sunday also, we have an episode on Truck U yes. at 9 a.m. And they're covering FR3. FR3 Friction Reducer. So a lot of TV to watch this weekend. Stacey Davis Gears, All Girls Garage, Truck U. Uh, tune in and let them tell you about our products. Because they don't want to hear us talk about them. Oh, you can ask us. We'll talk about them, too. That's what we're here for. You just, you, we just lost half of our viewership right now. They just tuned out like, what? I can learn about it on TV. Well, then what Click. am I doing here? <laughs> exactly. So let's see here. Event recap. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to give you a recap of my last couple of weeks. It's been kind of crazy. Uh, I don't know how much you guys covered last week of the previous week. Zero. Zero. I don't know. That was that was last week. This yeah. was at, the No Mercy 11 oh, down at South Georgia Motorsports right. Park, and it was an absolute blast. Uh, I headed down there. Uh, Firepunk brought the S10. Uh, 
Ryan Milliken brought up, uh, he came with Johnny Montesino with the, with the Ranger, right. uh, and uh, Rob McMaster was there with his Pro Street truck, and one of our newest uh, members of the Hot Shots Motorsports family, we might have had a gasoline Mustang there. Oh, yeah. That was really doing some work, and uh, we had a blast. This was like one of the first times that we really wanted to kind of let these diesel guys play in the gas world, and there is no bigger stage than No Mercy 11. And I'm telling you, these guys fly. And so what was really unique was Firepunk put the world's fastest diesel truck that usually runs on a big tire on a small tire. And I encourage you all to go check out uh, Firepunk Diesel's YouTube a page they did a couple videos over this whole like yeah. kind of two-week period including their original trip the day before they drove all the way down to florida to ryan milliken's track to get some practice in go watch that video i'm telling you their first eight or nine hits they did not move an inch like they could not figure out these small tires and i i could see how frustrating it could be you know and it's like uh, do we come up with a bad idea here you know because <laughs> we're supposed to race in a really competitive race this weekend but they slowly, after like eight tries, they kept changing stuff. Just had to too much. To the left, to the right. No, they just turned down. power down. They just turned uh. power down, power down. I mean, they took like all the power out of it, and it was still smoking the tires. So uh, the radial world is a completely different world than what, what they're used to. So, But they got it to launch like 10 feet, and it's like, woo, our <laughs> progress. Uh, by the end of that test session, they got a full pass in, packed up, headed over to South Georgia Motorsports Park. For uh, Duck X's, you know, big No Mercy 11, packed with the baddest cars in the nation. And uh, they started figuring out, Metzger was there with the, the suspension guru. And I still can't get my mind around how this works, but they were either blowing the tires off the line or they were popping gigantic wheelies. And the answer was more power. More power. And I'm sitting there going, how are you? You can't even handle the power now. But sure enough, kept throwing weight on the nose, more power, weight on the nose, suspension adjustment. And then pretty soon that thing was taken off like I've never seen. And on these little tires, they not only reset the world record, they crushed it. And they went from a 4-2-1 down to a 4-1-1, which at that time was also .01 off the overall diesel right. dragster record. Yeah. So for a pickup truck to... When dragster speed is crazy. It's probably the stickers. It's probably the stickers, <laughs> you're right. So congrats to Firepunk Diesel. Uh, we had a video we uh, uh, put out this week. Was that the one? No, well, last week's. So we had a video on that of, the, of their 411 pass. Um, the other news to that was that by the end of the week, they really had it kind of figured out. And so Saturday came eliminations. They made the field in radio versus the world class, which is the biggest, fastest class you can imagine. So uh, they went out there on Saturday and they had heard a noise in the motor, and uh, but they're gonna send it anyway. They're already on this big stage and they thought they had it. And I don't know if they told anybody yet, but I'll tell people because I'm good <laughs> at breaking news, right? They looked at the data, the truck launched and had a motor problem halfway down the track. Something happened. So they didn't get the, they didn't get the run in. Um, but they looked at their data after, and I'll just say it was on pace to make a stupid, insane number. Hmm. And it was really cool to see that. So if that would have held on a little bit longer, turns out it was a, a valve guide tore in half, and a uh, lifter kind of cracked the head off of it, and the lifter rod literally shot through the entire billet motor, <laughs> and it's still floating in outer space somewhere. So, so out the hood and all. Yep, I mean, we're just right through. It looked like bullet. It looks like somebody was inside the engine that shot a gun like through it, just like exit wounds all the way out. So, um, wow. what was really impressive about that, a lot of guys in the gas world coming over to congratulate them and everything, they were kind of amazed because they asked, you know, we usually get, those guys usually get three to five passes before they have to do valve job, and, you know, and they tear the motors down every weekend. Um, that was the 99th pass on that motor. The, the, the famous executioner by D&J Precision. So it goes to show some darn good <laughs> oil in there. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm going to be visiting D&J here soon. Drew, call me. I'm still waiting on the time from you. The motor's now down at D&J, and we're going to tear it down and look at the internals. So for every, all of you that wanted to see maybe 
what a season of absolute thrashing does to a billet, you know, one-off billet block. Um, we're going to dive down inside and see how well those lubricants protected that, that motor. Um, 99 passes on it, 99 pulls. So uh, they now know the valves, they probably need to change it. <laughs> Before 470 to be safe going forward, but it was an awesome right. weekend. Uh, uh, Johnny Montesino killed it in, in his truck. Uh, Rodrigo ran that 60 class, and he advanced pretty much further. Like he he was still running on 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 late on Saturday or Sunday even. So it was a really good exposure for the diesel industry right. um, under that under the crowd. Fast forward to this past weekend, I was down in Virginia Motorsports park in virginia for the pdra world finals which hot shot secret title sponsored the live feed of so if you want to go to speed video or flow racing you can catch all the action from this past weekend um thanks to hot shot secret and they invited like they did last year they invited a group of our diesel racers to come out to do a, like last year we did like some exhibition passes this year they did a uh, a four truck shootout and additionally, uh, the Shy Diesel Dragster was there. It ran with the Dragsters, heads up with all the gas guys, as well as uh, Ben Shaddy uh, had his Corvette out there running with uh, the Pro Boost class, which the S10 was supposed to, but obviously we heard what happened the weekend before. And then we had uh, Michael Dalton and Brian Gray and uh, uh, Johnny Gilbert and Nathaniel DeLong all brought the diesel trucks out and did a four truck shootout. It was a blast, we had a good time. We had tons of people coming by, checking out these diesel trucks. Couldn't believe how fast they're going. And unfortunately, the rain came in and we never got the finals in. Um, but it was still a great time. It was a great showing for the diesel racing community to get in front of that gas world oh, yeah. and show us what, show what we can do. And uh, it, was, it was a good time. We got a, we got a good video coming too. It's been production right now. So I'll look for that in the next week and you can kind of see uh, what last week's PDRA experience was. So good time all nice. around. It was great for the diesel community two weeks in a row to uh, get out there and show these guys that, you know, these aren't just farm tractor motors, you know, <laughs> putting down the track no more. So uh, some of them are. Some more. But I will say 2021, <clears throat> be ready. There's more of that to come, and you're going to see a lot more of this crossover coming in 2021. So we're really excited about it. So shout out to all the guys. Thanks for all the hospitality the last couple of weeks. Um, we got a lot of video and stuff coming from, from what we did. So stay tuned for that. You want to announce the upcoming event? Because I think we have somebody watching who probably wants to hear about that. Oh, my good friend Brian. Oh, yeah? Is racing November 13th to the 15th. At MSR Houston. Well, who's your good friend, Brian? I don't think the rest of the crowd knows all Brian's. Well, there's two of them. <laughs> That's why it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Chalk and Brian Fennell. Yep. From? USMC Racing. USMC Racing. Did I not racing? say that? You didn't say that. You just said Brian's Racing. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what I meant. Yep. So our guys, USMC Racing, which is a great charity organization we support, has a big race coming up at MSR Houston um, in a couple weeks <clears throat> in November. Um, I will be traveling down to join them and... Oh, that was supposed to be a secret. That's no longer a secret, so I just wanted Brian to squirm for a little bit, but I'll be traveling down there to root them on and, and see what they do. I believe they're going to have, I think Brian will probably chime in here, he's going to have four or five cars now, which I started off what? with one. Yeah. Ooh. I know it was a minimum of four, but he might have five cars there. And so Wowzers. this is a great service they do. It's, uh, they open their, their doors to uh, active duty and retired military, um, those facing PTSD or just, you know, difficulty struggling, acclimating back to civilian life, as well as first responders, uh, police, fire, all that stuff. They let these guys come out and jump in a race car in these endurance races they do. And, you know, it, they call it an, uh, adrenaline therapy. Some guys just come out want to work the pits, you know, and just rent some of the cars. Just want to hang out with fellow brethren in the military that they, you know, they haven't spent time with in a while. And it is just therapeutic. It's awesome what they do. I encourage you all to go to USMC Racing's page. If you got five bucks donated, it goes, if any place you're going to donate your money, it, it goes a long way. And they can certainly use it. And we love to support them. And I'll be going down there to hopefully bring some more exposure to what they're doing and uh, and 
and see what this is all about. We finally, our schedule kind of opened up this year with everything yeah. dead at the end of the year now. So it's like time for me to finally go join the boys. And they've been up here too. So it's my turn to go down there. So Brian, I'm coming down. I will see you in a couple weeks and we are looking forward to it. So let's check out any other comments. Uh, Bob Mason says, I use your EDT Ooh. and my Duramax love it. I think Bob Mason is our first time viewer. So he is. Bob, if you're coming in with EDT, you're coming in the right way. That's a, that's an excellent way to start. I recommend if you don't know our two step process, which is our diesel extreme combined with our EDT, uh, diesel extreme has the same, uh, six components as, as everyday diesel treatment. It's just the injector cleaner is very strong in it. So it's a good product to use every 6,000 miles, we say. Mm. Run a tank of, uh, of Diesel Extreme, then get back to your EDT. Would you like to tell them the six components without using your fingers? No. I challenge you. <clears throat> Injector cleaner, cetane boost, lubricity, water disperser, rust and corrosion inhibitor, storage and stability. You got it. So you get all that in your EDT. And, Do I uh, want a t-shirt? No, nope, you got enough. <laughs> But uh, that's why it's such a good product. We're treating the awful number two low sulfur diesel that's coming into the truck as well as protecting the truck system from rusty corrosion and everything inside. So you get all the, all the best bang for your buck with EDT. Run that diesel extreme every 6,000 miles to clean it out. And then guess what? It's the time it's of year. It's D-Wag season. I don't know where you're at, Bob, but <laughs> Bob, if it gets cold where you're at, you want to switch over from EDT to our diesel winter anti-gel. We just had this conversation recently because somebody was asking me about the labeling on our bottle. Oh, here we go again with, uh -oh. with, with, with names and whatnot. But our bottle does say diesel winter anti-gel. Hmm. So is that what it is? It's like, yeah, but it's also all those other six things that are in EDT. Right. So it's EDT plus, plus. anti-gel. Yeah, so exactly. um, you still get all those six components plus the anti-gel. And it is the season. It's getting cold out. Do not wait. Yay. Do not wait. You want to start running ED or DWAG now. Zan Martin's watching. What's up, Zan? How you doing? Yeah. Hey, Zan. Craig Stutz says, enjoy using your product. I use it in my 6.7 F250 and in my 66 C10 LS2 6-liter engine. Yeah. And in my wife's Ford Explorer. I am more interested in that 66 C10. Right. So, LS swap. Here's your man here. Yeah. That's kind of up your alley. Yes. So post a picture of that. Craig, please post pictures of that. Several. Does hey, man... you know your wife's Ford Explorer? <laughs> but that C10, we want to see it. But glad, glad to see you're using it in, in all those vehicles. Uh, that's kind of where we're getting to a stiction eliminator. It's for everything. It's right. for, it's it, it's for that six seven F two fifty. It's for that classic uh, C10. That's actually an LS swap and a modern Ford Explorer. So good, to, good to see you. Zan Martin says, "Good to see you, Kyle. Good to see you, Zan, but I can't see you. But <laughs> thanks for the what? welcome." James Preview, I use it in all of my 12-valve Cummins. Yep. David Robinson, shout out from South Florida. What? Great products, guys. I use them all. Well, thanks, David. I mean, if you say all, oh, I'm going to challenge you that. we got a lot now. We'll have to check his list, make sure he's... Right. Are you using our RV slide out? Good one. I don't know. We have to check. Josh Lawyer's in. Uh, James follows up with... I've recommended it to all of my family, and they started using my uncle and cousin's diesel shops are using it because they seen what it did to mine. That's awesome. Great to hear, James. I, I wonder if your uncle and cousin's diesel shops are dealers of ours. If not, um, have them give us a call. We have awesome dealer packages. We're looking to add new dealers all the time, and uh, there's a great way to be part of the Hot Shots family. They, they get a discount on the product. We give them a lot of uh, dealer support with materials and, and, and a way to help them uh, add some revenue to their business and it helps us get our products out to more people. Yeah. Unique thing on our dealer side that you don't see in the retail side where we're carried in over 25, 30,000 stores now, but it's a variance of our products. Um, sticks and eliminators pretty much widely available yeah. in all those stores. But once you get past sticks and eliminator, diesel extreme, EDT, FR3 or top three or four products, it's hit and miss at the retailers. They just can't, you know, have our all our stuff. Our dealers can though, and our dealers yes. have access to products that you'll never find in retail. So it's a, oh, are we doing a, oh, we are. Give me a minute. So, uh -oh. uh, 
So James, let us know, or, or have your uncle or cousin give us a call. We'll, we'll tell them about our dealer packages and see if we can't get them on board if they're not already. And Ali Hamza says, I just got the first 17,000 miles on Green Diamond Fleet 10W30. It's so far so good. My question is, why is it way thinner than Mobile One 10W30? It's a 2015 Volvo truck with D13 engine. I'm going to punt to you. Right. But I'm going to start this off with 1030 is 1030. It's a 30 weight. We can show oil analysis to find out. Chances are, last time we had this question, I, I had you pull up the uh, uh, data sheet on it, and ours was spot on, and the competitor was not, I mean, their right. back row like, was so off viscosity. I believe he asked this question before, and I need more information. Is he talking about pouring it out of the bottle or at running temperature? Okay. Like where we're... What is his basis for why is it thinner? Where, what time? So, Ali, what, when are you comparing that? Yeah, like out of the bottle, fresh at 72 degrees Fahrenheit, or right. is this coming out of the a hot engine when you're doing oil change, or a cold oil change? You know, at, at room temperature. Um, obviously, with like brand new, fresh or old used. I mean, there's a lot of factors that right come into play. So, give us some more info. We'll give you some more feedback on that, Ali. Yeah. Uh, James Preby says nothing better than hot shots. I use it in my 24 valve pull truck. Andrew Joseph Orr says, hey Kyle, diesel race fuel mix coming along. <laughs> Everybody's asking about that, you know. Um, I will say the boys had it out at uh, PDRA finals in, in their trucks and uh, had some good feedback from them. So it's getting closer. We're getting there. Um, but I think it's the next year thing, thing yeah. Andrew. It's not going to be released until we hit threes with it. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So. All right. <laughs> James said I could use some, some more and would love to win some. Well, put your name in, James. Hotshotsecret.com slash giveaway. Um, and my mom just chimed in. My mom's got a tough fan badge back. I see what you guys did there. Says hi, Kyle. Hey, mom. But before we move on, we've got a lot of comments here. We have a special guest. Which is your better side? Mm. Okay, we better do that then. Now stay up here. You don't have to go anywhere. I'm, I'm good. Is this on, guys? Back. No. Not? Yeah, I got you. Can you hear me? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> check, check. Check. Do you want me to talk really loud? <laughs> it's green. <laughs> Aaron, come on, give me. Let's get your bike. <laughs> you listen to my lap? <laughs> you want me to talk at Kyle's cleavage? There you go. <laughs> I think so, that would be funnier. Welcome to the set, Miss Erin Hauser. <laughs> Hi, Kyle. Hi, Erin. <laughs> would you like to tell everybody what this surprise is all about today? So it's maybe or maybe not alarming slash surprising that I might just randomly stop in on you because I'm going to be on the road a lot. So watch out. Diesel shops. I might randomly come in. Hey, it's Aaron from Hot Shots. So you've True been story. warned. You've been warned. So and this is your last day here. Here. But I think I'm going to come back for the Christmas party because I don't want to miss a big party. No. You Especially if it's a good party. Exactly. You know, cause and I'm sure you have an outfit picked out already. I don't. Well, better get on that. I'm going to have to send you selfies like, what about this? What about that? <laughs> But anyhow, I am moving out of state, but I'm still working remotely. Where are you moving to? Georgia. Oh, okay. It's about 45 minutes north of Atlanta, so it's kind of centrally located. All of my states thus far are Kentucky down to Florida, so I can pop in on people much quicker. That's kind quicker. of you're moving into your territory. I'm moving into my territory, and I have people... Literally, Matthew's Garage is right in the city that I'm moving into. So, I'm well, there. shout out to Matthew's Garage. Mm -hmm. Hi, Tara. Oh, Tara's gonna be like, man, <laughs> one week's enough. Uh, no, it'll be great. So, if there's any special requests or training that anyone needs in my area, feel free to give me a holler. I'll stop down, and I'm sure I'll be at Leadfoot Diesel before we know it because it's pretty close. And KEM South, can't wait to go down there and meet. Um, Charles Bennett, KEM, you know, performance. But anyhow, I just wanted to stop in and say hi. Hit me up, call me, text me, email me. I'm still around. I'm just not in the office. But 
I've got some good people that set my phone up, so you still hit my extension 118. It rings to my cell. Oh, how convenient. How convenient. Still call me when did you Did Levi order. set that up? Of course. Well, of course of you course. did. Of course. Besties. Well, I will say you will be deeply missed here. I, what, before 9 o'clock? Before gonna... 9 o'clock. So we have a rule that Aaron's not allowed to enter my office before 9 o'clock because Aaron has a lot of energy at 8 a.m. Not when I wake up. I drink coffee on my whole way to work, and I don't eat breakfast. She has a lot when she shows up here. I'll Correct. tell you that. I'm but wide awake by the time I get my, here. My first hour will be different. Yeah. I'll totally call and bug you. I bet you will. And but, wine. But hey, we, Kyle, guess what? I just came up with a brilliant plan. I, yeah. I expect that. Right. Right. I come up with brilliant plans all the time, and sometimes they're good. Sometimes you like to laugh at me. True, true Aaron, you want to be a lot lizard? No, but if I went to the car washes, <laughs> that's what he said. I said, if you go to the diesel, like, truck washes, I know, you do that to me a lot. Oh. But the people are sitting there for, like, 45 minutes waiting for their trucks to get washed. So I thought, well, we should go hand out flyers, and then he's saying I would be. Go get EDT samples or something. Yeah. A lot lizard. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> So needless to say, um, you, you will be missed. You definitely bring a lot of excitement and laughter to the department and to the company, and I know you'll kick butt out on the road. Mm -hmm. But I'll get to go bug more people. It'll be so exciting. So, so for all you in the southeast, watch out. She's on the road. Yeah. And she's your problem now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Happy trails. Thanks, Kyle. I'm travel, you travel soft. What do you mean? Travel soft. You know. Swimming? <laughs> Don't never swim alone. <laughs> Always wear a raincoat. You got it. <laughs> oh man, are we live on TV and Facebook right happened. now? Yeah. All right. I zoned out for a well, we really do appreciate everything Erin's done. Uh, she's been here, what, it's been about a, uh, over a year now. And uh, so she's moved down to Georgia, and she's going to be in your territory. So she'll be visiting people a lot more than just calling them via phone. So that's a, that's a good thing, too. We like to get out and see our dealers. We don't do it as much because we chase kind of our events doing it. But she's going to be doing it full time now. So um, good luck to Erin, and happy trails. We'll miss her. But I'm sure it's not the end of Aaron. You don't hear so <laughs> she'll make sure of that. So, um, all right, what else are we gonna catch up with? Uh, Robert Kickenap says he's watching from Florida. We got Florida in the house today. James loves the diesel extreme. Also uses D Wag. Bruce Bouch says I love it in my D13. Didn't it wasn't that what uh, the other guy was using it in? Yeah, Ali Hamza yeah. was using it in a D13. Oh, he's using the oil. I run it in my 12 wag, 12 valve, and my wife's Dirty Max. James Bruce is in. Top fan Super badge Super studs, yep. Got the top fan badge back. I, th I heard TJ talking to Bruce earlier. I will do tonight. You have some reason. Ooh, we love surprises. Uh, Terry Howard with his top fan plus one badge. Still haven't figured it out, but he's super. What that means. Uh, when are y'all going to get more of the gun and bow lubricant? I have a couple of gun shops that want some. Good question. Well, we talked about that. Um, I'm all about bringing it back. Right now, we're working on packaging for it. Yeah. Um, we, we always like, we don't hide anything here. <laughs> so I think we're pretty much out of it. Like, there's some, still some bottles around here. But the, the, the challenge is people really like the needle applicator. Um, we switched to the aerosol because it was easier packaging and like e easier to ship, easier to throw in your gun bag without breaking the needle and everything. People didn't like the aerosol as much, so we're trying to go back to a needle style applicator, but a way that either has a cap, protective cap on it, or some type of clamshell packaging that will protect during shipping. So that's where we're at. We're not done with it. We're just trying to find an easier way to get it to you and also an easier way for you to use it. So um, we, we're soft your feedback. It's what we've heard from you guys, so it, it'll be back. Here's your answer. Ollie Holmes Ew. says, out of the bottle, brand new, fresh. So he's saying uh, one is thinner than the other. Why is that? Whew. He says that ours is way thinner than Mobile One 1030. I wouldn't probably say way thinner, but it has to do with the, the synthetic base oil. Um, flows really well at cold temperatures, has a lower pore point. 
like a lower cold cranking simulation viscosity. So that helps in cold weather. Um, once it warms up, they should be darn near identical. So it, it's added protection so it flows better on cold starts, hmm. especially in cooler weather. So when we talk about oil <clears throat> weight, 10W, the winter weight, right. um, that's at zero degrees though. Right. So and the cold cranking simulator is like, depending on the weight because thicker oils, I guess here's a lot my question. Sooner, so that's like not minus 20 to minus 30. Here's my question. A 10W30 is a 10 weight at zero degrees. Check. It's a 30 weight at 212? Correct. 212 degrees. So could these Between, two... Between, yeah, they absolutely... Could these two have different races to 212? Yeah, and it depends on the viscosity modifiers they use as well. Or right. Viscosity index improvers, however you want to... And we use less viscosity, impre viscosity improvers right then the competition does which helps us less from shearing and all that other stuff correct but uh ollie to your point i guess what, I, what i'm trying to say is at zero degrees they both should be a 10 weight right. at 212 degrees they're both going to be a 30 weight on the path to those two when you're at 72 degrees pouring that out of the bottle they could be a different weight yeah. and that's what he's seeing you know by eye yeah it could be on a different path to so that. So I'll, I'll, I will definitely do that homework. homework. Do the homework, and next week or two weeks, I will have a fantastic answer. Okay, let's do some testing on it. We'll see some side by side, and we can pull a. Do we have a version analysis on Mobile One? Ten thirty. Possibly. What we'll do, Ollie, is we'll check the version analysis on Mobile One. Last time we did this, uh, whatever brand it was, we were looking at. They were advertised as like a 1540, and then when we looked at it, it was nowhere near 40 weight. It was actually out of the bottle, it was like a 37, 36 weight. I was like, meh, meh, well, good enough, send it. And ours was like a 40.003 weight, like we were spot on. So um, we'll check it out and get back to you. So thanks for the question. Ali, we'll, we'll get into it. Or he can even email lab at hotshot secret if he wants. There you go, Ollie. <clears throat> lab at hotshotsecret.com. Yeah. I never heard that email address in my life. It's a secret one that I don't like to give out. Ooh, that you just gave everybody. 70,000 people are watching right now. Why so little? I we know. were up to like 96,000 when you were gone. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, good feedback. Still progress. Great to hear. Yeah, Andrew. Uh, shoot me a message later, Andrew. I'll see what I can do for you. Uh, boy, oh boy, Cuffish is red after special guest. Yeah, she She's can do special. that. She's special, <laughs> all right. Uh, John Fowl, what's up? I use EDT in my LML Duramax. Great stuff. Awesome. FR3 works in the pinch, James Bruce says to Terry. Uh, oh, with the gun stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. actually where it started from. Um, if somebody used FR3 on some guns, they said, hey, your FR3 works great as a, as, Did as a gun. Did you have to loop. throw in the southern accent? <laughs> no, <laughs> Just but he was southern. I know. <laughs> so... Uh, and that got us looking into it. And then, of course, like anything, we said, wow, we got something here. How can we <laughs> formulate it? And so we went in the lab and found out how to, we had some SWAT teams test it and like high pressure, high heat, automatic fire, all this stuff and formulated from a base of FR3. It still has FR3 in it. Right. Um, but yeah, winning a jam, straight FR3 is pretty good too. <laughs> Use a glue bottle for the gun lube. Yeah, James, that's one thing we're looking at. One of the... Uh, the needle nose plastic tip uh, type of bottle. So we'll, uh, we're, we're looking into that. Um, can the EDT be used in gas vehicles? Robert, no, it cannot. No. That is not a good thing to do because we have a cetane booster in the everyday diesel treatment. And cetane is the opposite of octane. So cetane will reduce the octane in your gasoline. So please don't do that. Okay. But what you can do, there's two options you got for gasoline treatment. One, we have our LX4 Lubricity Extreme. That can be used in gas or diesel. That'll bring, add lubricity to your fuel, which protects your fuel system. If you're just looking for some extra protection on that. And secondly, we have a Gasoline Extreme product, which we recommend using every 10,000, yeah. roughly, eight to 10,000 miles. Uh, gasoline Extreme is an excellent, I will, I will dare say it is the best gasoline fuel treatment on the market 
So much so, as we've told before, we even got slapped by the EPA for having too strong of a product. And that's even going to be on All Girls Garage. And you it's can check All Girls good. Garage this weekend. They're going to be talking about it. It's a great product. It is a <clears throat> deep injector cleaner. It's going to really, it flushes out your entire, uh, from tank to lines to um, injectors. We recommend it every 10,000 miles or so. You do not need it in every tank. And to but answer the question that I'm reading in between the lines, everyday diesel number treatment. Number three. You've What's got that? option number three. If you want some product similar to that, the RV gasoline. There is mat. another one. We do have an RV gasoline <clears throat> uh, additive that has some additional uh, fuel stabilizer in there. Right. If it's a vehicle you don't drive much, it's a good gasoline vehicle. It's a good one to use for that. Water, um, water dispersant. Mm -hmm. Yep. Keep, and, keep clean level of injector cleaner. Yep. I mean, it's, and you could use that in every tank. Yeah. Um, if, if you wanted to keep you know, that level of injector cleaner in there. The really, I have this conversation a lot when people ask us about the gasoline side. Uh, didn't you guys have a gasoline episode last week? No. I thought that was what it was. But maybe, maybe. Uh, people ask, well, why Did not we? an everyday gasoline <laughs> treatment? Right. And really, for, for the most part, we try to be upfront and honest with the way products are formulated. Gasoline is a very refined product, and it really doesn't need a lot of help like diesel does. Diesel is a very poorly refined product that comes with a lot of problems to a fuel system. So uh, you just don't need to really treat gasoline that much. It's just um, a lot of these gasoline treatments out there are the type of products that put bad names on our industry with the snake oils <laughs> out there. Specifically, sure. what we hear a lot about <clears throat> is octane. You know, can I, do you have something that can boost my octane? And... Octane boosters are generally snake oil. Um, what, what's it called? M MMT. MMT, I'm getting there. So the MMT chemical uh, that's used to boost octane that you might see the little bottle on the shelf that's like a little eight ounce bottle says, well, move your, your octane eight points or something. It, it won't. To move, to move octane that much, you need a bucket of this MMT stuff, which at wow. that... At, you really don't at that level but like the government's not like, gonna allow you to you're, you're only allowed to put this much in right so even you don't need a bucket of the mmt you need a bucket of their crap right sorry their, their crap their phenomenal product <laughs> right sorry so therefore um, <laughs> you just not you just really don't yeah. see that in the industry yeah. we, i had i personally had a lot of the questions lately about um some guys i was talking to some guy that was running a High performance boat and you needed to bring the octane level up and at the end of the day if you need to move it that many points the best solution that you have really is to really buy some high octane fuel some race fuel and blend it with it if you think you're going to get if you're trusting that your motor needs above a 93 this is what i'm hearing a lot and they're worried that sometimes they they don't trust the 93 octane pump sometimes they can only get 89 or 91 and they're throwing in a four point octane booster thinking that they're protecting their engine they're not Right. You're much better off getting some race fuel and just spiking your your, your fuel to fuel to balance it out. So so be careful with that. I just wanted to kind of make that point to you, Robert. If you are looking for an everyday treatment for your gas, maybe why why so? Uh, certainly you can add LX4 for for protection, but just run Gas Extreme every ten thousand miles. It'll flush your gasoline system out and be good. Um, all caught up there. So we do want to jump into uh, some of. Oh, you know what? I did skip our sales and retail. You like to hit those? Yeah, except I had a different number. Maybe I'm on a wrong list. Oh, it's, who knows? Anyway, EDT is on sale at Advanced Auto, $2 off. There you go. It really says that. I it thought does. It, I thought it was a different value. Now through the end of the year, almost. Wow, through December 30th. Yeah. Wow, that's a long sale. It so is. hit up your Advanced Auto Parts. And also... CDL drivers now receive a 10% off orders on hotshotsecret.com. What's the coupon for, code for that? Is it on there? Oh, you got to oh. verify it. That's right. I was going to say, everybody's a CDL driver all of a sudden. Right. So how do they get verified? It's in the checkout. Okay. So for all of our CDL drivers out there, and this is just open to all CDL drivers, period. Great. So... All our CDL uh, truckers, you're going to get 10% on all your hotshots orders going forward. Uh, in checkout, you can put your info in there. They'll verify that you have a legitimate CDL. 
and then you get a 10% off your products going forward. So that's a heck of a deal. Hmm. We appreciate our truckers out there and, and what they do to get all our stuff around. Um, also, I got a note here that we have a new text message service. What? Where do you see all this stuff at? It's magic, man. So I stay get connected with Hotshot Secret with our all new text message service. Ah, get three. updates from us sent directly to your phone. Be notified on the status of your order, sales, and coupons just for you. Now, how does one become a text message subscriber? <laughs> Coming soon? Okay, so when you uh, check out online, you can sign up for text message updates on your orders. Um, cool, that's a new feature. So, how about that? Yeah, and then yeah, we have all the time calling and checking on orders. Now you can just subscribe and we'll see. If we would have subscribed to the newsletter, we would know this. Yep, I guess so. So let's uh, let's get let's do our giveaway right now. Let's do it. Okay, so this week's prize is gonna be Stiction Eliminator, and you know each week you can sign up at hotshotsecret.com/giveaway. Um, as a bonus, if you're watching live, we're gonna throw in a T-shirt as well. Right. I've been waiting on that to happen, it and you guys tell me it happened while it I was ha gone. It happened while you were gone. All right, so let's see if we can get a live winner today. So let's see. So we got two winners. It looks like uh, first one is Curthens four at something. That's C U R T H E N S four. The number four at something. That's your email, of course. And second winner is Creves eighty five at something. K R E E V E S eight five at something. Do you have that up on the screen or no? You want me to repeat that? <laughs> Good. Curthens 4 and Creves 85. If uh, either of you are watching, uh, speak now and we'll throw a t shirt in as well. Uh, if not, we'll reach out to you after the show and we'll get your address and we'll send you out some Stiction Eliminator. So let's kind of get into a little bit before we close up here. Um, if you have any sp specific questions on Stiction Eliminator, Go ahead and post them now. But the first thing I'd like to address is, you know, it says, what is Stix Eliminator? How long do I leave it? All these sorts of things. Let's, right. let's knock out the easy stuff first. Oh. Treatment dosage. Ooh. You, your first time using Stix Eliminator, if it's a high, higher mileage engine that you want to clean out, four ounces for every quart. It's a pretty heavy dosage. <laughs> yeah. Put a lot in there. So it's four ounces per quart. Um, your follow-up usage after you've done your initial clean-out dosage is two ounces per quart. Yeah. Uh, that displaces the oil that you have in the motor. So if you have a 10 quart motor, you're gonna put 40 ounces of sticks and eliminator in, and that's 40 ounces the less oil that you put in. I know it sounds simple. That's why it's easier to do it at an oil change, pour the 40 ounces yep. in and then fill and it then to the fill, recommend. Fill, to your, fill, fill the line, yep, absolutely. Um, we get that question all the time. I'm not saying you have to. You can use it in used oil, but you can. But that was the next part, though. But it's it's oops. best used at the front of an oil change. You put this in with fresh oil. It stays in for the entire oil interval. The longer it's in there, the better. Chris is an analogy that he always likes to say is, well, when you're washing your clothes, you don't throw the detergent in halfway through the wash. Wash do you? You put it at the beginning. I do. You probably <laughs> do. So, let's get that this this shampoo if you want in there at the beginning so it can give it time to do its work and clean out the engine and and, and do its job um, another misnomer to this is that it's not only a diesel pro only product but it's a six liter and seven three huey injector only product not true good for all motors in uh, if you're talking gas or diesel it is such a good product that it can clean the Huey injector of a diesel. That's the way to look at it, is that there's a lot of engine cleansers out there on the market oh, that right. just are not fine enough to actually clean every nook and cranny of the engine and get everything cleaned out. Um, for those that don't understand, a Huey injector of a 6.0 or a 7.3 Ford, um, it's a very unique injector setup that uses the actual oil to fire the injector. Um, it's an oil side and a fuel side inside that injector. Very, very tight, small tolerances. So, um, and they're known to get gummed up and have injector problems on those vehicles. So that's kind of where 
this product came from what was where it was born as Hot Shot Secret at the mm -hmm. time, just for our trivia question of the day. <clears throat> but it's 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 the only product that uh, when Ford tested it with International the engine uh, maker, it fixed that Huey injector problem nine out of ten times because it's it can get. All everything that oil touches in your motor, as well as all the way in those fine little tolerances inside the injector. So we back up to the bigger world of things. It is not just for Huey injectors. It's actually the best thing you can do for any engine because it's it's going to get every nook and cranny inside of your motor, including if you have those little Huey injectors, it's going to get up there and clean them. So that's always my point to people. It's like, yeah, it cleans Huey injectors, but that just means it's cleaning the crap out of your regular easy to clean engine, you know? So. Uh, that's just another misnomer that we have right. with it, um, is that it's only a diesel product or, or something like that. Um, and the next thing well, we talked about it too. It was honestly, <clears throat> it was invented for the Huey injectors. Yeah. So that's, you know, kind of where all the marketing and, and literature headed. Started you know I mean? and everything. Like this. Yep. So, and then we tested and tested and tested, well, let's try it here. <gasps> yep. What? It sure. works. And so let's get in a little bit of the science so, behind it too. Uh oh. How does it work? Because we know there are other cleaners out there that use Correct. harsh solvents right. to clean that you, you know, you have to dump out of your motor real quick because we don't have any solvents in here, right? Correct. So how we'll is it, how is it cleaning and how, how are we able to keep it in the oil the whole time without damaging the motor? How can it be such a good cleaner and, and lubricant? lubricant because there's no such thing. Exactly. Nobody's figured out that out, but us. That's the hot shot secret. secret. So how does it work? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> you can keep it a secret? I am. <laughs> I know the answer. Do you? Group four and group five esters. You think so? I know so. Man, how do you know the secrets? <laughs> you, you're buddies with Kevin, aren't you? I am. Hmm. All right, group four. There's no group four. There's some. Yeah, group four and group five. You win. It's the, you want to elaborate? It's, it's the group five esters that are the cleaner in this one. All right, and and the lubrication Which, comes from the esters themselves, or we also have all FR3. Of the, all of the above and FR3. Yeah. Right. So every component in it is good for lubrication. Right. So that, that allows us to, unlike some of the harsh solvents that strip, it's kind of like a, when your hands get dry from, um, you know, like a harsh cleaner. And it strips all the oils out of your hands. We are like the the dove of of mm -hmm. that compared to like some something that strips it. We're going to clean it, but we're also going to leave it lubricated and, and, and right. soft and protect the motor at the same time. The uh, the other question we get is some people ask, well, it says it's got FR3 in it. Yeah, we add FR3 to this as well. So where does the FR3 come in? That gets back to our two step oil treatments process. Once you've cleaned out your motor with Stiction Eliminator. You can then follow it up for the next two to three oil changes using FR3 that will keep it clean and keep it lubricated. Right. So uh, then we recommend you come back to Stiction on that fourth to do a nice clean out and keep it clean. Um, but it's a nice two-step system between our Stiction Eliminator and our FR3. If you have a brand new motor, if you just bought your vehicle brand new off the lot, and the best thing you can do to it is get some FR3 in there right away. You're not going to need to start with Stiction Eliminator because you don't need that extra cleansing. And that's kind of one of the questions we get that, what's the difference between these two products? The Stiction Eliminator has a much more cl cleansing properties in it than does FR3. Right. So if it's not a dirty motor to start with, it's a brand new motor, start with FR3 out of the gate. They're both gonna give you tremendous wear reduction. Matter of fact, FR3 is 42% wear reduction, but Stiction Eliminator is? 43. Is about the same? No, oh, <clears throat> FR3 is 43. 43. Stiction 62. 62, right. 62. 62. <laughs> so out of the gate, you're, you're going to reduce the wear on a brand new motor. Or <clears> like we like to say, if you find an older vehicle, you're, you're car shopping for maybe an older vehicle, you find a good running 100, 200, 300,000 mile diesel even, give it a nice dose of stick limiter. Keep FR3 in that motor. You can basically, like we say, freeze time and, and stop the wear on that motor and extend the life of it for a long time. Or you can protect that new investment by adding it right away. Um, and putting it in there. So that's the difference between the Stiction and FR3, when you want to use which. Um, last thing here is the, uh, how long will it take for uh, Stiction mm -hmm. Eliminator to start working? That's a great question. Well, and, thank you, because we have, get it all the and time. And I have a, a different analogy than everyone I else. love analogies. 
How Give me it. it. <clears throat> How long does it take to do the dishes? Right? Yeah. It depends if you... How much soap oh, did you put in I there? Just, no, How, I just, How hard are you working? No, I just made a sandwich. I threw it on a plate, and I eat it, and wash the plate off, done. Now, the pan that you just cooked dinner in and burn on the bottom, and so it can be very quick acting. It could take a little bit. Right. And <clears throat> that's a good analogy. Huh? Oh, let's you start like using that? that. I do like it. Because the sandwich left a little little mayonnaise on the side. It washed off eh, pretty quick. Yeah. You're done. Yeah. But that really baked on lasagna pan. See, here we go. Lasagna. <laughs> that's <laughs> had <laughs> lasagna. The Cascade commercial. That's from had 1978. Like just burnt Good cheese job. in the corner oh, forever. Yeah. And you just bought it. It's a 200,000 mile vehicle. And it hadn't no, been. No, I thought it was 2,000 year old lasagna. You got me. <laughs> about the same. About the same. It hadn't been cared for. So there's right. a lot of buildup stiction, which is burnt oil varnish inside the motor. Well, in order to get that off, like one of the other analogies I always say is the way that the, uh, there's polarity aspect to this, right? Certainly. So that's one of the secrets behind it. This, the, the cleansing chemical inside this product wants to get to the metal. It's a, it's a polarity positive negative thing. So it wants I, to get to the metal. It's going to fight through the stiction to get there and thus lift it and clean the motor. So the more lasagna guy you got in the pan there <laughs> that's all burnt and corroded, it's going to take a longer time to get through it. So that's going to offset the time until you feel results. Um, I also like to say, imagine if you were wanting to scrub out the inside of your engine, if you're able to get in there with, you know, a hot, warm brush and start, you know, knocking down some of that lasagna cheese in the corner, <laughs> you can speed it up. Well, we can't really do that because, you know, it's a sealed engine and we're just running fluid over it. So... Uh, like I always say, if you were to spill a pop on a table and let it dry and you have a sticky, gummed up varnish mess there and you're not allowed to wipe it up, but you're allowed to constantly pour hot water over it, it's slowly going to wear that down right. and it returns it to oil form, which is my final question that we usually get here is, what happens to all that lasagna? Where does it go? <laughs> it actually goes back into the oil. That's what's, it's what's unique about our product is we can turn that burnt old oil varnish that's gummed up back into liquid form and it just becomes part of the oil then. So when you get to the end of your oil interval and you dump that oil out, out comes all that old sticky varnish that is now in a liquid form again. Mm -hmm. So we turn that lasagna back to water <laughs> somehow. So, uh, so and that's how it all comes out. Now once you've got it all cleaned out, let's put some FR3 in there, keep it clean, and uh, get a lot more miles out of our motors. It's good stuff, man. It built our company and now we have Tons of other products that are powered by science, but it was all on the backbone of, of Stiction Eliminator. So, um, uh, James Bruce says a little bit right day and night, boys, like he always does. So, uh, that's it for today. Uh, we will be back next Thursday at 1.30 p.m. As we are every time, let your friends and family know. Make sure you sign up for that newsletter. Uh, make sure you put your name in, because maybe next week you could be somebody that wins at Hotshot Secret dot com slash giveaway and uh i think i'll be in town next week so i think the band's back together for another week all right, all right. tour <laughs> and uh, uh at least until i go down to texas to see brian so we'll mm. be looking forward to that so until next right. time everybody have a great weekend uh feel free if you're watching later post your questions we'll answer them too so right. take care we'll see you next week